Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Una edición más aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Estamos aquí transmitiendo en vivo desde los estudios de National Latino Broadcasting aquí en Miami. Now we're going to switch back to English because um, we have uh, Michael Chatsey from uh, Harris Paul. How are you, Mike? I'm fine. Thank you very much, Javier. Thank you for uh, taking the time and talking to us about this um, uh, Equitrain uh, study. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it, some background about this study, how long it's been uh, going on, and uh, what's the, the, the process that goes uh, behind it? Sure. Uh, this, is, uh, this year uh, is our 25th annual uh, study, so it's been going on since uh, 1989. And it's a study that measures brand equity across uh, 1,500 different uh, uh, brands and uh, more than 150 categories uh, based on a sample of 38,500 uh, consumers that we poll online through our Harris Poll uh, panel. Yeah, and these, uh, again, we're going to be focusing about the, the, the particulars about the auto industry, but the poll goes around every single industry in the, here in the U.S., right? That's correct. Yeah. So in the in the this track that I that I, I, I saw in the study, um, you you list things about service centers. Let's start with that. I mean, because that's a pretty important thing. We've been doing segment and interviews and segments about uh, maintaining uh, the cost of having and maintaining the car. And this is a pretty important one because that where you take the car is a, um, a, a place where you're going to start like saving money if you can, right? So. This can tire. This is a, a national brand uh, that that is all over the place, obviously. But uh, so, what are the the, the, the best things that about these uh, service centers that were listed in the poll? Yeah. The, so the the score uh, is based on uh, three uh, measures that we we have uh, found to reflect uh, brand strength. So, so it's familiarity, which is really you know, do I know you? Am I familiar with you? Okay. Um, And then the second measure is quality. So, so I think it's a quality place, a quality brand. And then the third measure is just uh, is one of how likely am I to use you? So uh, am, I, am I going to interact with you? So based on you know based on those three measures, we create a score. And this year, discount uh, tire uh, uh, scored the, the highest. And you know we our our, our thinking here is that discount tire has, has been. Uh, very uh, active in building their familiarity uh, uh, sector through various sponsorships and, and a, a strong online presence. So um, they uh, also have a strong value position, which we found this year. Uh, brands that do have a good, strong value uh, perception uh, did particularly well. I think coming out of the recession, people are, are still you know, yeah. looking for and seeking value uh, in every category. Yeah, and that's the key, I guess. The second, the second uh, criteria for your study is like, I mean, the quality that they get from the service, right? So there right. are there are seven that are listed there, and then like some others that uh, are good but are above average, right? Right, right. So uh, I, I think they're uh, they're all very close to each other uh, in the top. When you look at the top tier, there isn't there isn't uh, tremendous uh, gaps between them, and. Um, So I, I, you know, we would we would say that uh, you know any any of the brands that, that are sort of above the average, there are um, are brands that consumers perceive of having uh, of being strong and being worthy of, of consideration. Obviously, yeah, because I mean, competition is fierce in every aspect of the industry, not only the auto industry Absolutely. actually. So everybody is trying to do a good service, and actually, because I mean, now we have internet, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, and people communicate really fast, much faster than they used to do like 10, 15 years, probably when the studies start. So now, being on the top seven positions is pretty good for them, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You're right. That the, the It used to be, uh, if, if there was a, a poor experience, people might, you know, and they, they may tell three or four of their friends, now they tell, you know, they're able to tell three or four hundred thousands of their friends <laughs> through services, you know, like you mentioned, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So, So it's really become uh, it's, it's become critical, and, and companies have, have it's not been lost on them, and they're and they're really doing a lot to manage that perception. Yeah, in other interviews that I've done for the show, uh, I was talking to one expert, and he was saying that a bad impression lasts much longer than a good one, and you spread it even more than that you would do a, a good one. So it's very yeah. important to go and uh, have a good quality and a, a good brand for the for the for the service. So let's, yeah. Let, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. 
Well, I'm just, you know, that, you know, that has become the expectation. So it, it, if you do a great job, that's just kind of what people expect, right? So you don't get extra points. But if you disappoint in any area, then that's, that's the, the impression that lasts a long time. Yeah. So um, we obviously won't be able to cover the whole study. We're going to post it on our Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash auto zero sesenta and uh, can you please uh, share also now that we have some time uh, where can people find out the whole study on your website uh, yeah if on the uh, Harris Interactive dot com uh, website there is there's information about the study uh, you know, posted there and uh, also contact information will be there if you want to get uh, even more information yeah and this is free for the public to to read it right uh, it's Uh, the uh, yeah, the, the top line uh, kind of measures are, are free, and then uh, for sale, usually the, the companies who, who purchase it, okay. the, there's a very detailed report that goes into you know a lot of different uh, dimensions of the brand, like momentum, okay. uh, you know. Uh, Uh, many diagnostic measures to help you understand, you know, why you rank where you rank. Yeah, exactly. We're talking to Mike Chatsley from Vice President of Solution Consultant from uh, Harris Paul. So we were talking in the the next um, yeah. uh, category, uh, the brands with the best line of models: Toyota, Honda, Chevrolet, Ford, and Nissan in the top five. Any surprises for Toyota? I guess it's been there for a long time, right? Toyota's been there uh, for for quite a while. In fact, uh, they were they captured they captured the top spot five out of the last nine years. Although they did have a, they had a little bit of a rough patch with yeah. that, with, yeah. with some yeah with their their safety recall and some press around uh, the Lexus issues. But they you know I think what's impressive is how quickly you know uh, uh, how quickly they were they recovered. I think they handled that very well. Uh, in terms of being very transparent, communicated uh, to their to their customers, and we saw the brand rebound uh, very strongly, and uh, just tells you, you know, uh, the combination of a strong brand and, and good brand management can really uh, help. Yeah, well, we were talking just before that about the bad impression and things that happen. I mean, the recalls. I mean, I, I think they they have recalled more cars that they have sold. <laughs> it's, it's almost in incredible, like millions and millions of cars, but they, as you said, they've been transparent and it's impressive really how they have reacted and like, um, the cars are good. I mean, like they just have some issues with some of them, but it, it's kind right. of they're interesting. Still, yeah, they still have a very strong reputation for value and, and of course fuel economy with the, with the Prius and, um, you know, I think that they they took accountability for for the issue, and and uh, as a result, it didn't it didn't uh, create a long you know it was a kind of a blip, if you will, on their on their image for a while. But they've yeah. come, they've come back, and they and they and Honda kind of buy uh, year after year for the for the top places. Yeah. It's interesting, Chevy and Ford kind of buy for the third and fourth place. Yeah, that's good, and right. also to, it's good to see Chrysler there that they have recovered pretty quickly from uh, from when they were only about three, four years ago. Uh, and let me jump to uh, one that uh, caught my attention a little bit about gasoline. Costco, it came out as the best place to buy gasoline. Yes, yes. So uh, you know, I we think that part of that is there's a kind of a halo effect from the Costco retail store. So I think that the the, the gasoline. Uh, Probably benefits from a lot of the positive equity around Costco as a as a retailer and the value uh, that you get there. So um, that's uh, you know I, I think that that is kind of what's happening there. Is, you know, yeah, yeah. people kind of don't they, they don't necessarily separate the gasoline from the total Costco brand. So they they have a positive perception of the brand overall, created through the through the experience people have the retail store. Yeah, and Costco has a, a fee, an annual fee, but at the end when you add everything up, uh, it comes out to a pretty cool uh, cool deal right there. So, yeah. um, Mike Chatsey, Vice President of a Solution, Vice President Solution, uh, Solutions Consultant for Harris Paul. So thank you very much for your time and uh, for sharing this information about the Equitrend 2013 uh, study. And um, we'll, uh, we'll visit it and as again, I will post it so the audience can have more information about it. Ok, excelente, thank you, I enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Mike. Ahí tienen la información sobre el estudio Equitrend 2013 que analiza toda la industria, en realidad toda la industria en Estados Unidos. Esto nos hemos enfocado obviamente aquí en el show sobre los temas de autos y ahí hablábamos cómo hay 
marcas que están eh, más destacadas que otras y lo que me llama la atención el último punto que hablábamos sobre en uno de los mejores lugares para comprar la gasolina es Costco que no es una eh, estación de gasolina como tal pero al tener un gran volumen eh, de, de mercancía de diferentes productos pueden darse el lujo de vender la gasolina un poco más barato y es gasolina digamos genérica es lo que pasa eh, con la medicina cuando va uno y compra la, la medicina de marca y luego va y uno compra la medicina genérica el precio es mucho más accesible así que es una buena solución vamos a colocar como les dije toda la lista eh, de las categorías que tienen que ver con los autos en nuestra página de facebook facebook.com slash auto 060 para que la vean, la revisen ahí y puedan eh, tener eh, buena información que al fin de cuentas es lo que sirve para eh, no solamente mantener el auto en, en buen servicio en buen eh, estado eh, que les den un buen servicio y sobre todo ahorrar dinero eh, así que esa es la lista completa del uh, Equitrend 2013 y no se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar con Crisi Rodríguez, una diseñadora de la Ford Motor Company, esto es 060, yo soy Javier Moto.